Yes, Freunde, hier auf dem DMA Award äh, haben wir uns jetzt mal so ein bisschen zurückgezogen auf der Aftershow-Party und äh, es ein bisschen ruhiger angehen lassen. Wir haben eine gemütliche Couch gefunden und äh, werden jetzt natürlich die Menschen ehren, die heute Abend den Lifetime Achievement Award gewonnen haben. Es sind keine geringeren als New Order. Hi and welcome. Hello, how are you? Great to be here. Thank you for coming by after the great show. You just received the Lifetime Achievement Award, which means like uh, looking back at uh, almost 25 years of New Order and even more as musicians, of course, with Joy Division. Um, yeah, just how does it feel? How does it feel, Gary? How does it feel? How does it feel? How does it feel to treat me like you do? It's a great honor to get a Lifetime Achievement Award because it means that you've left your mark somewhere, you know, on the general public. And um, although when we started out in our career, that was never our intention. We just started out and we didn't want to get, A, we didn't want to get a normal job, did we? Okay, no, we did not. We didn't, we, we, we didn't want a nine to five. We wanted plenty of holidays. We wanted to meet lots of nice young ladies. We wanted to drink a lot and we wanted to go out and have a good time all of the time and being a musician seemed to fulfill all those requisites so that's why we became musician but to actually realize along the way that you are actually quite good at it and then to get a lifetime achievement award like this is a great honor I thought I was mistaken I thought I heard your words Tell me how do I feel You just came back with a fantastic new album, Waiting for the Sirens Call. So, uh, after all these years, what was your motivation? Well, well, it's a bit of a cat and mouse thing, that, really, because when you make an album, you know that the record company are going to ask you to go out and A, promote it, and then you're going to have to go out and play it live. And to do both of those things well, you have to be really, really believe that your work is good. So, when we're in the recording studio, we work very, very hard. 14 hours a day, every day, seven months. And then when you do make an album and you play at the record company and they go, wow, it's great. Every, they really like it, you know, and this album seems to be getting particularly good response. They go, it's great. You've got to go out and promote it. So then they pressurize you to go out and do loads and loads of promotion. And then you think, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. This is getting a bit like hard work, this. You know, and then you've got the concerts coming up. So. It's kind of a chain reaction from making a good record, really, that you end up working harder. Your album title, Waiting for the Sirens Call, has something to do with uh, like a situation we have here right now, after show parties. Um, Wait for the Sirens Call album title came from a song title and depending on which day you ask me the question I'll give you a different <laughs> interpretation of that song. Okay, so we wait just a few hours then we have the next day and we ask you that question again. I think so, yeah. I don't want to define that song. Yeah, he's actually leaving. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, so... Um, Going back to Blue Monday briefly though, there is actually Blue Monday Owners Club. You can check it out on the internet. Um, um, BlueMondayOwnersClub.com or something like that. Yeah, and people, what happens? People take, yeah, he'll tell you. Take, yeah, just tell them the other you've taken with your original Blue Monday and you can join. Okay, I think, I think at this point we just keep discussing on, on the after show party. Thank you so much to New Order for joining us. Okay, congratulations again for your Lifetime yeah. Achievement Award tonight.